Alright guys, I'm going to show you something really, really useful. So, say you have an object in JavaScript that you either made or are working with. Uh, an object of just data, right? So, it's just something like, you know, car is Honda, animal is cat. And you want to pass that to PHP. And you want to use the object just like you were in JavaScript. Well, if you're going from PHP to JavaScript, that's easy. You uh, you JSON an array and pass it back, and you got it in JavaScript. However, it's not easy the other way around. In fact, I couldn't find a way to do it, so I made a way to do it. Basically, I made a function called JSON object to PHP object, and I'll show you the function in a second. But basically, it takes any object in JavaScript and converts it into a form that PHP will understand. And when I say understand, you do literally just do JSON decode strip slashes on what I give you, and it gives you an, uh, an, an object to use, a PHP object. So we're going to go through four examples, and then uh, I'll show you the function. First example is an associative array. You need to think of associative arrays as objects by themselves, not as an array. Technically, it's not an array. It's person name is Sean, person age is 21, person user is optical effects. It's not like this array where it's just zero is cat, one is dog, two is lizard. It's not it's just accounting, right? It's so so we're gonna pass person person into our function. I'm using just Ajax here to log the information I get back just so I can look at it. Okay. So I'm gonna pass in uh person and so if I do person name, it should give me Sean. So person so I'll do person, so we'll change this name, person. We're just passing in the post. Person is name. And we take a look, refresh here we go, we get Sean. And if we take a look at what the request looked like, my function generated this string right there. Okay? So let's move on to the second example. Um, so now this is just a straight object with properties. Okay? Nothing special about it. Um, so let's get the, uh, let's echo out cat. So to echo out cat, we're going to pass in the object, right? Pass in the object. And then in PHP, we're going to do um, the object uh, arrow animal. And that should give us cat, right? So we'll give it uh, object, All right? So object arrow animal should give us a uh, cat, right? And refresh, cat. There we go. And that request looks like that. So it's basically the exact same form as the associative array, which is why you have to think about it as uh, an object. Next example is a little bit more complicated. It's an object where one of the properties is actually an array. Now, one of the properties is not an associative array. This is just a normal 0, 1, 2 indexed array. Okay? So if we want to get dog, we have to do object animal 1. Right? 0, 1, 2. So let's pass in object 2 right here. And so we get to do object animal 1 should give us dog. So object animal 1 should give us dog. Now that animal is an array. And if we refresh, there's dog. And if we look at our post, car, Toyota, animal is in square brackets now, is the array. Okay? Next example is the same thing, only instead of a indexed array, we're going to pass in an associative array. Remember how this first thing was an associative array? So now that's one of the objects. So if we want to get, say, my user, we would pass in object 3, and in PHP we need to do object 3, people, user. Right? Object 3, people, user. So, object, people, user. Should be optical effects. Let's refresh, and there it is. And again, if we look at our post, it is car Toyota people is now an object. It's just an object inside of an object. And obviously this could go on forever. Uh, the last thing is if you need to do an array of objects. So this is just a normal array, but its, it's um, inde indices are actually objects themselves, these two objects. So we're going to pass that in. Say we need to get, so, so with something like this, uh, with an array, what you really want to do with it is loop through the array and use the objects. That's the point. So what we're going to do is in PHP we're going to loop through and print out the car and the animal for object and object 2. Now when we print out animal, it's going to say array because it is an array. Okay, We're not going to print out that part. We're just going to let it say array. So I actually already wrote that loop here. It's, it's just really simple. For each array, right? So we're going to call this array now. Array for each array as objects. So now we have an object, 
through each iteration. Car is object car, animal is object animal, right? So if we refresh that, uh, okay, refresh the page, car is Honda, animal is cat, car is Toyota, animal is array. Because I told you it would be an array, because it is an array. If they were all arrays, then you could go in and do, you know, animal you know, an animal one. So if I, if I redo this, um, it's actually going to break up the strings, but you'll be able to see animal uh, will actually be that first thing. See, animal is now dog. It accessed the array. Okay? So how does this all work? Uh, let's take a look at that. So to make this work, it really just forms the strings for you. First thing it does is it forms that first bracket. It's always going to have that first bracket. Then we're using a for in loop. So for property in the object. Start out, we're just storing a quick value. We're just storing a quick variable to access. Object bracket property bracket is whatever the value is. Okay? So you have um, property colon value. So this is what that value is. So first we check if it's a string. Okay? So we check the type of the value. As in value being uh, whatever this is on, the, on this side of the equal sign. So if this is a string, like that is right there, then simply put, um, simply start adding to that bracket, uh, quote the property, colon, in quotes, and then the value, right? So it's very simple if it's a string. If it's not a string, as in it will return type object, you need to test first if, if, if value zero is undefined. If value zero is not undefined, that means you accessed a regular value of an array, like this. This would be, it would say value zero gives you cat. So that's defined. So it would fail this and go straight to here. So this is if you have a regular array down here. Basically, it does the exact same thing as the whole function. It's just it uses square brackets around it instead. So I just, I just space it differently for each property in value. So we have now a value. Value, again, values the array now. That's why we're in the value. So for each property in value, we're just going to add the value prop. Value prop is the value of the array, which is the value. I know it's a little getting complicated. but And then you do that over a comma, right? So then you have to actually get rid of the comma at the end, or, or it'll mess up. But we actually uh, we actually substring. We get rid of that, la that last um, character, and then we add, add that brace. And then we actually add a comma because this is still part of our big object, right? So we add the comma afterwards, right? So if now if it is undefined, as in if you go bracket zero and you get undefined. So for example, in here, if you go bracket zero, there is no bracket zero here. It's bracket name. Zero does not work here. So if that's the case, then you just recursively pass in the same function. So you just you do property colon and then this function again, and it'll do it all over again. So it'll do an object inside of an object, and then if there's an array, it'll do an object inside of an object inside of an array. And the whole thing just repeats itself over and over again till it finally takes off the last comma, adds on the last curly brace, and there you have taking any JavaScript object, turning it into a PHP object.